hi guys this is a starting video of redux saga and before that we have learned this uh, generator function and we have learned how can we code in uh, we have learned new syntax for generator function and we're gonna write that code line of code in our redux saga library now you will ask what is redux saga so basically redux saga is used for asynchronous purpose like fetching a data from a, a server for persisting your data in your browser cache and it will also optimize your code it's also used for this failure checking now in here we're gonna first of all uh, install our redux saga into our repo so in here in our code sandbox i'm going to use this redux saga and if you're using your uh, command prompt or the visual studio code just type in the command npm space i space redux hyphen saga and it will be installed into your uh, repo now let's just start with our store.js now in here as i have said that uh, uh, redux saga is basically used for middleware right like whenever you dispatch some action and it will go to the reducer in between there is a middleware like it will do some functionality and it will perform it will change your output and give it to the reducer now in here what it does like uh, we are going to import this create saga middleware from redux saga now we got this redux saga right we have gotten this redux saga and i'm going to just reference it into this saga const and use this create saga middleware it is a function which also takes some options and for reference you can check into the docs so in here i have installed this sorry i have referred this const saga now in here what you can do you can in, uh, initiate like initiate here this saga now first of all whenever you do this it will be run through this store and if you use before that saga dot run it will not be used okay so it will give an error right here as you can see in here it will give an error before running a saga you must mount the saga middleware on the store using apply middleware so it means that we have to use this after this now if you used it will again give an error because you haven't provided any saga in here okay so better to comment out this code for now we're gonna see what we can do in the next session maybe now in here i'm going to create a new repo called sorry new directory called sagas because there may be a chance or it will be like you have to create more than one saga that's why so why i'm saying saga so saga is okay let's see what it is so we are building one saga for fetch fits dot saga dot js okay there's no problem with that we have just created a file now in here we are going to create two generator function you can create any like any number of generator function but there are two category of generator function we are gonna build for a saga there is one called watcher function that is watcher function in here and also there is one called worker function as the name suggests that this watcher function what it will do it will watch for an action or it will watch for uh, an uh, like uh, a constant later as you can see that we have this fetch start fetch face star so it will watch for that uh, type so that's what this watcher function does and if it watches the watcher function it will call another function 
what do I mean by that just I'm going to write in code so as the name suggests I'm going to write as the name like uh, function star watch fetch oh, fetch fits so I have just created a name function name as the name suggests it will watch for a fetch fits now in here we are gonna use yield as I have said function ha uh, for generator function we have yield now in here after that yield we got many type of side effects thing from redux saga which helps to use this asynchronous process and it will be in the effects folder now what we have in here we have this type of tick like tick every tick tech and tech latest tech leading tech maybe so in here two three things are maybe important tech tech every and tech latest and we're gonna use or we gonna use only tech latest in here and i'm going to also differentiate what this tech all this type of text okay so in here we're gonna use this tech latest first of all now what it does we have this take latest and as you can see that we have to provide a pattern right so as I have said that it's gonna watch a, a type of const type yeah so that's what we are gonna provide in here it's gonna check for a pattern right so we have a pattern fetch fits start right now in here after that we are going to use this work, worker function. We're going to provide a worker function. We haven't defined that worker function right now, but uh, we're going to use it. So as the name suggests, we're going to write as it is worker fetch fits. Now we have used this worker fetch fits. Now I'm going to create a function of worker fetch fits. Now in here we will have a uh, we will have parameters of this fetch fit start like we have this type and if it has some payload it will be there you can provide like it will have a type in here and it will also have a payload if this function that we have made in our action.js right in here as you can see this has a type so it will have a type and payload but uh, we don't need any type or payload for now so I'm not going to write anything in here but you have okay now in here we're gonna write for success and failure right we're gonna write for X uh, we're gonna fetch the data in here so first of all we're gonna use this try catch block and E for error is if there is an error now in here I'm going to use a new uh, effect called put now I haven't I haven't thought about this take latest I haven't thought about put but I am going to tell you what the, this all means but let's see now in here Put. we have provided this put in here sorry we have to provide it using yield right yield put and the function name okay the action that you're gonna use so the action as name suggests we're gonna use fetch fits oh we haven't uh, exported it right so go to your fetch fits dot action and just export all these function right so that we can import it into our sagas file so yeah it's done now go to your saga now if we get okay we don't get the import files now just going to use it like this 
uh, we are gonna get from dot dot slash right action slash hfish.xn and we need two files in here first one is fetch fits failure and second one is fetch fits success we got two files and in here i'm going to provide fetch fits failure and it need an error as as here as you can see that it has a params right you can give the name you can pass the params in here so as i have said that saga helps to um catch the error in here very efficiently so you can see just like this we can pass the error message now once again we haven't like get the data right so we're gonna get the data so first of all we're gonna use our response and again i'm going to use yield and there is one more effect that we got from redux saga and it is call so as the name suggests call is like a method that you're gonna call for any action uh for any response that you want to get so first of all in here you're gonna provide the function name okay so we have this axios right we have installed this axios in here right uh axios okay we have an install so just install it okay so i'm going to install axios for now okay we have installed it okay yeah now in here i'm going to use it axios we got the axios or not okay just import it here so import axios from axios now we got the axios right axios dot get we need and after that you're gonna provide the params that you wanna pass so we have a param right we have the url as a param in here so go to your components okay do you don't know don't have to go to your components you have to go in here okay just copy this file uh, sorry copy this url and in here you can just pass in here like it this now what happens as you have done this if we got the data we're gonna again use this yield port for dispatching the action of we if we got an error we're gonna use uh, we have this yield boot fetch fits failure right so again we're gonna use this yield again you're gonna use so as the name suggests you have got the idea of about put yeah it used for dispatching the action in or in what redux tank we have used this dispatch right this dispatch to power uh, dispatch the accent in here we have put for dispatching the accent so in here we're gonna use fetch fits success and the name oh sorry and the data in here just like this we have made our watcher function and worker function so now in the next video we're gonna see that we have built this a watcher function and the worker function but we haven't dispatching dispatch the action so in the next video we're gonna dispatch the action and see what it does that's all for now thanks